Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. Now I want to give you a quick review on the C2R Fast Shooter's Belt. So again, I've had this belt for about six months. Again, at least at Warhog Tactical, you know, we like to do reviews for at least 90 days on the set of equipment we're using uh, just to give it a full shakeout. So this is more of a review than kind of an overview. Do me a favor, guys, hit that. Uh, like button, subscribe button, leave us a uh, review, all that other good stuff on YouTube. And oh, by the way, share this with your uh, friends and family. So really, when you kind of get your uh, C2R Fast belt, you know, you kind of see you've got the belt here. Good quality design. Also comes with an inner belt as well. And I'll give you a quick kind of demo on that here in a little bit. Um, but again, you guys can see it's got that good cover buckle in the front. It's got this attaching loop in the side, which we'll talk about here in a second. This belt is load rated, meaning if I'm wearing it around my waist, I clip into a helo, which I'll show you the attachment in a second. Uh, if I wish to repel from it, whatever I, I want to do, it's load rated for it. I'll be honest with you guys, you know, here's the deal. Uh, am I a super fan, or I should say, was I a super fan of gun belts? You, you know what, I wasn't. I never really used them when I was in the military. I just kind of put my riggers belt through my pants, just kind of build it that way, and it just stayed assembled. The thing I like with this C2R fast belt, and you guys can see right there, man, this thing is thin. It's not cumbersome. I mean, it just fits right on there great. It's got great construction when you look at it. So again, you can see your different kind of molly weave points in there. Just absolutely fantastic, a great uh, shooter's belt. So here's kind of the beauty with it, right? Let's talk about kind of this buckle here in the front, just so you guys are tracking with that. And I kind of show you so that people understand that right from the get-go. So again, they've got their retaining tab right there. So again, I just remove this out of the way and it exposes this attaching loop here. Now I could do a couple different things if I wanted to. Uh, if I was in a pinch, this was around my waist and I'll put it on here in a couple minutes. And again, I had a snap link or something. I could just kind of put it in there and again, do a munter hitch. It could give me a quick repel off if I had to. Here's the real thing when you look at it. So in this configuration, I can sit there, weave my hook through here. So now the beauty is it actually gives me a helo tie down point so again if i need to clip into an aircraft if for some reason i were to fall again going back this thing is load rated so i know it's going to keep me in place so we'll just kind of pop that off here real quick i just wanted to show that because a lot of guys you know if you're out there looking for a shooter's belt you know what is this piece of metal on there or this loop on there a lot of guys don't know so again it's for that helo lanyard uh you could also if you wanted to run a piece of 550 cord through there put your chem lights in i've seen guys uh, run gloves I and mean, kind of whatever you want. It gives you some functionality, but understanding what is this piece of equipment actually on this belt for and what's the design. And again, an important feature for me is knowing, hey, if you do have a company that has this on there, is it load rated? Hey, we know our cover buckles are load rated, all this stuff, just all their stitching. It's just critical that, again, if you have a piece of life-saving equipment, I just want to make sure it's the best setup. So really when you kind of look at it, right, on this one here, I've got a Molly style pistol mag pouch in there, fits fine. Uh, this one here, just kind of the clip attachment on there. So again, it's a one and a half inch belt, easily clips on there, good to go. And again, I got kind of just a basic configuration, two mag pouches on there. Hey man, you know what, if I want to, I can get my, again, you can kind of see the setup for my Rifle mag pouch, super easy, undo the wings, slap it on there. However you wish to set your belt up, all you gotta do is just clips on and boom, now you have your accessories on there. So again, on the C2R shooter's belt, plenty of attachments for your Molly. You can see on here, I've got a Safari Land uh, slight drop holster attachment. The thing I like with this and the reason I've got the QLS on there is because it gives me the flexibility that, hey, for example, if I wanted to run this carry concealment holster for my Walther, I could easily clip it on there. Got it. I can do my business. Simply push the button. Boom. There's holster one off. 
And then if I wanted to use something like a standard code USA for an Archon, easily clip that on there. So I like this Safari Link QL just because it gives me some flexibility and options in there. So I kind of take the belt, we'll just set it down right there. I just want to show you here a little bit. Inner belt, just kind of your piece of Velcro there, super easy to put on. So again, all I'm looking to do is just weave it through my belt loops, just like I normally would any other belt. And again, the nice thing is what C2R Fast has done is in this configuration, it's not the hook pile facing out. You can see it's the loop portion or the non-catch portion. So just when you're kind of looking at Velcro terminology, you know, you've got your hook portion, which is your rougher side. And then your smoother part is your pile portion. So again, you can take your inner belt, just cinch it down, boom. Now that's there just like you want it. Now, for me, what I like to do is on C2R Fast, what they've done is they have this little retaining strap right here. So again, I can undo this, let out some slack. Because again, for me, what I'm trying to do is initially when I get this thing going around, I'm going to use kind of the front of my cobra buckle as my point. Make sure it's wrapping around. And then what I can do is clip in my cobra buckle. Now it's just as easy as cinching down to where you want the tightness of your belt. And then once I'm there, I can just take my excess, stow it in the keeper they give you. And then I'm good to go. And then if I need to adjust my holster, however I need to do it, hey, you know what? It's not really sliding like I want to. No problem. Undo it. Adjust your holster right to where you want it. Boom, I'm happy with that configuration. Clip my belt back in and then I'm good to go. Now, people are gonna say, well, you know, you kinda got some wasted space there as far as real estate goes. Yeah, what I could do is if I needed to, I could actually sit there, attach a tourniquet or something like that and that so I can actually maximize that space. So in my opinion, it's not wasted, it's still there. So again, guys, just wanted to kinda go over what I'm using as a shooter's belt and then what I'm gonna dub, I think, Pardon my uh, Velcro noise. What I think is the industry standard, really when it comes to shooter's belt, the design, load rated, again, good quality attaching points on there. So if you did want to weave something through the molly, you could. And it's just a great shooter's belt, easy setup, lightweight, thin, and really C2R Fast has, I think, outdone themselves in this design. So again, you can kind of see on, just so you see the inside, Again, you just got all your Velcro on there to attach to your inner belt. And to me, this is what we are now running at Warhawk Tactical. So again, from a guy who wasn't super into, you know, using a shooter's belt, this here I think is absolutely the standard. So guys, do me a favor, go check out C2R Fast. Um, go check out their website. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed with their gun belt. Don't forget, Go to warhog.com, check out for our upcoming class schedules. We put all our information out on there, our product line, whatever else. Check it out, one-stop shop. Last thing, do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a rating, or excuse me, leave us a review, and uh, we look forward to training you guys out on the range. You guys take care and stay safe.